Good morning and welcome to Yin. Is it anybody's first time to Yin? Okay, so Yin is very unlike other yoga that you may have been um, participating in before. It is a passive practice. We typically hold postures between three and five minutes. The reason being after about two and a half minutes, the muscles start to relax and we work into the ligaments and the connective tissue. This has benefits for the lymphatic system, the nervous system, and it also starts to increase flexibility. Um, so although in terms of physical exertion, it can be a little bit easier, mentally we are in a stretch for between three and five minutes. Um, so we ask you to find, we ask you to find what is known as your edge. So I will guide, I will guide um, each, us into each position. When you move into it, please find where feels good. You want a good stretch, but you don't want any pain. So try and find a happy medium. Um, and then we just ask you to relax. So you get your position and then you completely release all tension in the body and the mind. Okay, so find your edge, relax and breathe, that's it. Okay, with that in mind, can I ask you to find a comfortable seated position on your mat, closing down the eyes and starting to arrive in the present moment. For the next 90 minutes, Hello. nothing to do, nowhere to be, completely relaxed. Starting to connect with your breath. When you're in your stretch, your breathing is very, very important. Trying to maintain deep and slow breaths. We will throughout practice this morning. We will hit the six directions of movement for the hips, the shoulders, and the spine. Shoulder stretches will only be one minute to try and protect the rotator cuffs. At any point, if something is not achievable, Um, just, just listen to your body and see what you can do. I'll try and give options for the different levels. Um, at any point, if something is just really, really painful when you want something else, maybe for the posture, go for extended child's pose, knees wide, toes together, hips come all the way back and arms out in front. This works slightly more into the hips. If you bring knees together, toes together, hands to the sides, and then forehead to the floor, this will work more into the lower spine. Um, could be a, a forward fold, standing up. Could be a forward fold, sitting down. If something's really horrible and you don't wish to do it, just, just choose another posture. Okay, with this in mind, we're going to begin with the hips. So if I can ask everyone to come up to all fours, High kneeling, placing their right leg out in front. Right knee stacked above the right ankle. Top of the back foot into the floor. Pushing the hands can either be to the right thigh or to hips. The idea is to relax as much as possible. I appreciate you need to balance here. There should be a stretch in the front of your left hip flexor or underneath your right hamstring. This is option one. Option two 
hands come all the way forwards. Right foot comes out to the side a little bit more to the right. Fingers pointing to 45, uh, toes pointing at 45 degrees and trying to bring your elbows down to the floor. First option, runner pose. Second option, lizard pose. I would suggest if you can't get your elbows down to the floor, on option two, stay in option one for now. Feel the stretch in both the front hip flexor and the right hamstring. We hold here for three minutes. Finding your stretch, stillness, and breathe. At any point throughout practice, if something feels uncomfortable, like here, if you wish to pop a cushion underneath your left knee, if it's sore, please feel free to do so. Can you be still? Can you relax? Last one minute. and release wherever you are very slowly very gently if you're standing up or if you're sitting up hands come down to the floor everyone bring the right leg back and slowly lower down to either your front or your back one minute to let the body reset before we move into the other side
and release hands pushing into the floor this time left foot stepping forward same variation as last time so if you're in runner pose left knee above the left ankle left foot far enough forward so that you feel a stretch you're pushing the hips a little bit forwards to start with feeling the stretch in your right hip flexor and your left hamstring once you feel a good stretch trying to find stillness and if you're coming down hands to the floor inside your left foot left foot can stay there or walk out to the side of the mat and toes can point to 45 degrees then bend the elbows finding your stretch same as the other side three minutes begin Any tension in the fingers, the jaw, the hips, try and let it go. Last one minute. and release wherever you are slowly and gently coming down to the mat and rest 60 seconds to let the body reset
next posture. Pushing up to all fours, finding your way onto your sitting bones. We have a few different variations here. Variation one, if you place the soles of your feet together and you want them a little bit away from you, so your legs are in like a diamond shape, option one, with your legs staying like this, bring your back down to the floor. This is our reclined butterfly. Option to bring hands to the inside of the thighs. Option two, coming up to seated, maybe having a cushion underneath your block, uh, underneath your sitting bones here if you wish. Lengthen in the lower spine and as you exhale, fold forwards. Option three, unless this is particularly uncomfortable, maybe everyone try this one. Frog position, knees as wide as you can make them on the mat. Toes pointing outwards, so the inside of your foot is on the floor. Knees are bent to 90 degrees. You then, when your knees are as wide as they can be, you bring your upper body down to the floor and you bring your hips at least in line with your knees, if not slightly further back. You should feel a stretch on the inside of your thighs. If you need to stretch more, widen the legs or push the hips back, but try not to have the hips forwards. Try not to have them past the point of the knees. They need to ideally be a little bit behind the line of the knees. Option three or option four, wide-legged seated forward fold to push the legs as wide as you can. And when you're at your maximum, external rotation, pushing the legs outwards and back, spine nice and long, and then exhale, walking the hands forwards and down, picking your stretch. We're going to be here for three minutes, so work out. Maybe go for frog, unless it's particularly uncomfortable, and then go for one of the seated or lying down butterflies. Three minutes. Begin. If you haven't already, slowly trying to relax the mind. If your brain is active this morning, this is absolutely fine. Let the thoughts materialize. Just try not to react to them. Just acknowledge them and let them go. One of the primary goals of yoga is to still or quieten the movements of the mind.
and release. Option one, two, and four. I think you should be fine coming out of this. Maybe one and two using hands to support the knees as you lift them. Option three, maybe bringing the hip forwards to release. And then just completely relax on your front or your back. One minute. Next, postures. Coming up to all fours. We bring our right knee forwards, place our right leg over the left. So the right knee is in front of the left knee. Feet now nice and wide. So your right foot is to the left of the mat and your left foot is to the right of the mat. Option to place a block or cushion below your sitting bones. We sit backwards. We've got our sitting bones into the floor. You can feel both of our bones into the floor. Feet are nice and wide. You can use the hands if we want to try and push the knees together to stack them on top of one another. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forwards. This is what we're going for. If this is not achievable for you, with the right leg on top we are today, or so far. Um, feel free to lie down onto your back, bring your right leg over your left, bend your knees a little and just grab your feet with your hands. And then just gently let your elbows into the floor and hopefully there's tension, you can feel tension, maybe having to apply a little bit with your hands. Just slowly work into the muscles. We hold here for three, minutes not into the muscles but into the posture hold here for three minutes begin i say we hold here for three minutes we're going to change legs at halfway so just 90 seconds breathe into it And we release changing legs. So if you're on your back, just simply change your legs. If you're on your sitting bones, roll forwards. Bring the right knee forwards and release it. Bring it next to the left. Then bring your left knee over the top of the right to get the feet nice and wide. Sit back, get comfortable, get the sitting bones to the floor. 
feet nice and wide, stacking the knees on top of one another. Inhale, lengthen, option to stay here, or if you did on the other side, fold forwards. And breathe, 90 seconds. And release. Legs out in front, lying down onto the mat. One minute, let the body reset. Next posture, we move into our pigeons. So option one, bend the left knee, sole of the foot into the floor, right foot placed on top of the left knee, bending the right leg as well. Option one, interlacing the fingers behind the left hamstring. Option two, in front of your left shin. Head comes down to the floor. You feel the stretch on the outside of your right hip. Option two. Bringing your right foot out in front of you to the left of the mat. Right knee to the right of the mat. Your shin can be in line with the top of the mat or if you're starting out maybe at 45 degrees so it's diagonal. Hips are not twisted in any way, they're both pointing forwards. Hips are sinking down to the floor. You're trying to walk your left leg back far enough to get your hips all the way down. Option to put a cushion underneath if they, if they don't quite, but try not to fall into the cushion, keep the hips square. Inhale, lengthen the spine, walking the hands all the way forwards and down. Half pigeon, if you wish, to try third option, please feel free. Left leg in line with the top of the mat, left shin. Then the right shin is placed on top of it. So the right ankle is on top of the left knee and the right knee is on top of the left ankle. Shin parallel with the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, folding forwards and down. Once again, we hold for three minutes finding your variation, your stillness, 
and trying to completely surrender. halfway any tension in the body or the mind whatever it is trying to just let it go Wherever you are, slowly and gently coming back up. If you're in half pigeon, maybe tucking the back toes, pushing the hands into the floor, lifting the hips to release that right leg. Finding your way back down to the mat. Completely relax, one minute before we move into the other side. Next posture, same, but on the other side, so option one, left foot on top of the right knee. Grabbing your right hamstring, interlacing the fingers or your right shin, head back down to the floor, stretches on the outside of your left hip. Next option, half pigeon. Left knee out in front, 
left foot to the right side of the mat. We bring the right foot as far back as we can. We sink the hips down nice and square. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Well, next option, right shin in line with the top of the mat, left shin on top of the right. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, folding forwards. Same as you did on the other side, three minutes, begin. and release. Slowly and gently finding your way out of the posture and down to the mat. Let the body reset before we move into our final posture for the hips. Next posture. This can be ever so slightly uncomfortable. 
especially if you're starting out. So please be gentle with your body. Coming up to all fours, knees together at the top of the mat, as close together as you can make them. Feet wide. Option once again to place a block or cushion between your sitting bones. Try initially with two legs if this is just not possible because internal rotation is very painful. We can just do one leg. Do one leg at a time and I'll tell you halfway through and we'll just change, okay? Trying if possible to bring the hips down to the floor. This may be your maximum. Your knees may be screaming. If this is the case and you've got flannels and you want to put them in between your knees, um, maybe for next time, please feel free to do so. We slowly start to walk the body back. Maybe the elbows come down to the floor. Maybe the shoulders come all the way down to the floor. Maybe the arms come all the way overhead. Wherever your body comes to today, finding your stretch and stillness. This is a great test to see you can surrender, you can release tension. Trying to focus on the breath. Halfway, you need to change legs. Now is the time. Slowly and gently, making your way out of the posture. Making your way down to the mat. One minute to let the body reset. I think the first time I was doing this, it took me about a minute to get down to the mat.
and release. Next up, we have some shoulder stretches. We are going to only hold these for one minute so we won't break in the middle. We'll go straight from one end to the other. We start with our right arm out to the side, 90 degrees, walking fingertips up in line with the forehead. Left hand pushes into the floor next to your chest. Keep your right palm facing down. Start rolling over your right shoulder. Bend your left knee and then place your left foot directly behind your right knee. Option to stay here if the stretch in your right shoulder is enough. Option to lift your hand up to the sky as you inhale and as you exhale, let the left hand fall behind you, whether that is to the back of your right hand or your lower spine. Let your hand relax to the floor. Um, and keep your right palm facing down. We hold for one minute. Begin. And release. Inhaling the left arm up to the sky if it was behind you. Exhale down in front of the face. Rolling over to the front of your body. Right hand coming into the chest. Both hands pushing into the floor. Left hand coming forwards. Right arm sliding underneath. Right arm in line with the top of the mat. Right palm facing down. Left hand comes out in front. Swings alongside the left of the body, palm facing up, and you place your left palm down to you, next to your left hip, so on the floor, next to your left hip, and then both shoulders pushing down towards the floor, feeling the stretch in the outside of your right shoulder. One minute, breathe. Looking down at the floor in front of you, maybe slightly to the right. Keeping your body where it is, lift your chin, bend your, left, your right elbow, put the thumb inside the fingers, lift your chin a little bit more and then place the chin down on top of the right wrist and then completely relax. One minute.
and release, lifting the chin, right hand down to the floor, left hand comes to the front, right hand releases, other side, left arm out to the side, 90 degree. Walk the fingertips up in line with the forehead, right hand pushes into the floor, left palm stays facing down, rolling over your left shoulder, bend the right knee, right foot behind the left, Option to stay, option to inhale, the right arm up and exhale, let it fall behind wherever it comes to today. Let it hit the floor, one minute, breathe. And release. If your hand is behind, inhale back up and then down in front of the face, rolling to the front of your body. Left hand comes into the chest, both hands push into the floor, right hand walks forward, left arm slides underneath, left shoulder down, arm in line with the top of the mat, left palm stays facing down, right arm comes out in front, swing the right arm alongside the right side of the body palm facing up, and then you place that right hand down next to the right hip, both shoulders pushing down to the floor, looking down or slightly to the left, and relax. Keeping your body where it is, lift your chin. Bend your left elbow, thumb inside fingers, and then place your chin down on top of your left wrist and relax. And release, lifting the chin, left hand comes down, right hand to the front of the mat. Left hand releases. Coming back to all fours, tops of the feet into the mat. 
Hips are stacked above the knees. Shoulders are stacked above the wrists. We inhale and as we exhale, we walk the hands forwards, straight forwards in line with the shoulders, bringing our forehead, chin, maybe chest all the way down to the floor. Hips still stacked above the knees. Puppy pose, one minute. Breathe. Slowly and gently walking the hands back towards the body. Bringing the knees forwards, crossing the legs, rolling back and over onto your sitting bones. Bringing your hips to your heels. Hips to heels, hands coming back behind you, fingers pointing backwards. Option to keep a small bend in your elbows, to squeeze your fingers together to protect the joints. But feel free to walk your arms all the way back as far as they will go. An option to straighten out legs in front, our rack pose. and release slowly and gently coming up last one for the shoulders internal rotation backs of the hands to the outside of the rib cage place the elbows on the inside of the knees and squeeze them together if this is challenging back just the tops of your fingertips to the outside of the rib cage and then try to place the elbows inside the knees and squeeze. If this is still not quite achievable, just use one arm for the time being. One arm inside the elbow and bring your hand to the elbow and just start to apply pressure. I'll let you know halfway through. Once again, passive practice. Finding your stretch and then just relax. Changing sides, if you're on one side. and release, lying down onto the mat. 
completely relax. One minute. Letting the shoulders reset before we move into our spinal sequence. Next posture, rolling onto the fronts of your body. Elbows underneath the shoulders, directly underneath. Palms facing down, tops of the feet into the floor. Looking at the floor in front of you and closing down the eyes. In our Sphinx pose, you'll hold here for 90 seconds with an option to deepen halfway through. For now, just closing down the eyes, completely relaxed. Option to stay here. Option to straighten out the arms. As we do so, checking if we're pinching our lower spine. Not wishing to do that, wishing to avoid pinching. If you still have more room, option to walk the hands back towards the body. Maybe using the toes to bring the hips forwards. Once again, finding your stretch, but avoiding a painful pinch in the lower spine. And in your stretch and brain. Shoulders still away from the ears. And very slowly, very gently, lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. Take your time. When you get there, just relax. One minute.
Next posture. Counter stretch for the back bend is a forward fart. I'd like everyone to come up to a standing position and get our inversion in at the same time. Feet together or mine will be hip width apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine as you exhale, starting to fold forwards and down. Maybe finding a small bend in the knees, so you release the lower spine, trying to get the chest down to the, or the, the, the abdominals down to the, the thighs. Hands can come to opposite elbows, hands can fall into the floor, maybe place hands underneath the feet. Wherever they are, completely relax, three minutes, begin. Maybe nodding and shaking the head just to release any tension in the neck. And then find stillness. And release, hands into the floor, bending the knees, coming back down onto your back. Let the body reset. One minute, relax.
next posture is our banana side stretches, legs to the left, arms overhead and to the left, left leg steps over the right, left hand grabbing the right wrist, option to put right thumb inside fingers, hips to the floor, shoulders to the floor, three minutes, breathe. Stretch in the right side of the body. Body is in the shape of a banana. And release, coming back to the centre, straight into the other side, legs to the right, arms to the right, right foot comes over the left, right hand to the left wrist, left thumb inside the fingers, hips and shoulders to the floor, and breathe.
and release back to center, legs to center, arms to 90 degrees, so out to the side, palms facing down, spinal twist. Any variations you would like to take, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, and that could just be, do the right leg first, bend the right knee, left hand to the right knee, inhale, and as you exhale, pull that knee over to the left, looking over to the right, but if you can do, bend both knees, right leg over the left, option to wrap right foot around the left calf, maybe lifting the left heel to do so, maybe lifting the hips a little, moving them to the right a little, take a deep inhale, as you exhale, knees fall to the left, looking over to the right, and we hold, we breathe. We relax. Last two postures. This and then the other side. And release back to center, right foot, back down to the mat, change sides. Whatever you did on the other side, exactly the same. Knees fall to the right, looking over to your left. And breathe.
slowly and gently coming out of the posture, taking any final movements you need, maybe hugging knees into the chest, gently rocking from side to side, maybe hands to knees and rotations in one direction and then the other, maybe index and middle fingers wrapping around the big toes, hands to the inside of the foot or the outside of the foot. We bring the lower spine down to the floor and then trying to work the knees down, gently rocking from side to side in our happy baby. Whenever you're ready, lowering legs down to the mat, feet to the corners of the mat, toes falling outside, palms, facing up to the sky next to the body, maybe half a foot to a foot away from the hips, tucking the chin to find length in the back of the neck, bringing the shoulders down and away from the ears, maybe bringing the hips away from the shoulders and the heels away from the hips, taking a deep inhale through the nose, and as you exhale, Completely relax the body and the mind. Shavasana. Slowly bringing your awareness back to your breath, the body, 
starting to find movement in fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles in one direction, and then the other. Fingers interlaced above the body, push the hands over the head. Full body stretch, pointing the toes, flexing the feet, bending the knees, soles of the feet into the mat. And gently, with your eyes closed, rolling over to one side of your body and coming up to a comfortable seated position. Closing practice with gratitude. Hands either on tops of the knees facing down, on tops of the knees facing up, or hands to heart center. Yogi or yogini's choice. Finding at least four things that you are grateful for at this present moment in time. It could be running water, electricity and heating, food, friends, family, sunlight, whatever you're grateful for today. saying thank you to yourself for taking the time to practice. I am thanking you for joining me here this morning. I hope your bodies feel good today. I wish you an enjoyable rest of your days. Any questions or feedback, I'm around, so please feel free to get in touch. Um, namaste. Thank you all. Thank you. My pleasure. I am, um, I'm still having problems with my eyes, so I'm going to see how things go next week. Um, I will, uh, I'll keep you posted. I'll, I'll hopefully send a schedule out, I'll send a schedule out um, on Sunday to let you know how things are going. But thank you for your time this week. I will keep you posted. Well, thank you for doing it today. My absolute pleasure. I hope... I actually quite enjoy the unit. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? The body wakes up. Yeah. Uh, how did you find that, Claire? <clears throat> really, really good, actually. Some of the poses were a bit difficult, but I just once I relaxed into it, I was all right. I sort of it started off a bit painful, then it was fine after a while. <laughs> so it was good. Excellent. But everyone yeah, that doesn't know Claire. I'm involved next time, I think. But everyone that doesn't know Claire, I grew up with Claire. She was a close, close friend of the family. How long have we known each other? God, you must have been about three, something like that. I think so. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, long time. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yes, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Um, no if you have any aches or pains, no, uh, no let me know. We can try and give you stretches for them. Hopefully, that practice was just a nice loosener for the body, so there shouldn't be too much. Yeah, it should be lovely. Oh, great. My shoulder hurts a bit, but that was I woke up like that this morning. <laughs> okay. My shoulder hurts. Oh well. I'll get yeah, over just it. Keep, keep it moving. Hopefully it helps. <laughs> I'm surprised my dog didn't come and join me. He normally does. Come here. Come sit. He's, he's normally a nosy little thing. Come here. He's having a stretch. Who are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he normally comes to say hello to everyone that's sitting on the floor. <laughs> okay and Sophie do I, sorry we've got un, my uncle Mark here and we've got Sarah who I met um, in my local forest uh, next to a boating lake yeah my mother visit. and sister <laughs> oh is that your mother and sister and on the yeah. show oh with your mother and but Sophie is that your mother and sister no huh? that's Jonas Oh, oh, right. Yes. Okay. okay. Because the window is there. So we have to. Hello. Yes. So, more. Sorry. Yes. A couple of friends from Sri Lanka. And then Anna, who was part of the team from Sri Lanka. Hi there. 
Hello, Jonas. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, yes, wishing you all a fantastic Saturday and um, oh. catch up with you soon. See you later. Bye. See you later. See you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.